Uh, the simple answer is uh, joy is a kind of emotion um, that responds to, to things. I think we all have a kind of intuitive sense of what joy is. It's what we feel when we see, um, you know, little children playing happily or when we see a beautiful sunset or a great work of art. We, we feel very positive. And, um, so it's a, a feeling, an emotion in response to, to something else. Joy I take to be that emotion which happens when I care about reality being, being a certain way and I judge that it is that way. That's, that's when joy ensues. Well, you know, we economists work with the term utility, mm -hmm. which is very close to sort of, you know, happiness or joy, and that's what we are teaching our students. Uh, I think of it, I think of, of joy as involving, really, I think the combination, to make it very succinct, of happiness plus gratitude. It is this sense of contentment with the choices that one makes and the paths that one pursues and declines to pursue. I look at joy as an act of resistance against despair and its forces, all the forces of despair. Joy seems to me, um, of course, it depends how one defines the word, but it seems to be a temporary uh, experience. It's not a state. Yeah. So I want to say there's the joy of the moment. You know, she comes around the corner, I see her face, and I just feel this spontaneous arousal of joy. I want to say that's joy, right? There's the person who has the attitude, you know, it's a guy you know at work. And when things are going bad, he has a smile and he says, hey, we're going to pull through. This is a guy who sort of practiced joy, without, but he doesn't believe in God. It has nothing to do with that. I want to call that joy. And then there's, there are various levels of joy in that part of our life that is linked to God. So I think the key essence behind joy is that it's about connection. It's about connection with something that is beyond ourselves, whether it's a relationship with another person, a relationship with a supernatural being. There's some connection to something which is beyond ourselves. So it has to have that element of transcendence to it. I think that's probably the critical component to what understanding what joy is. From my point of view, I mean, if we're talking about Christian joy, mm. which is, I think, quite different from other forms of joy, I think joy is fundamentally about a relationship uh, with God. It has to be rooted in that relationship. I tend to think of a joy and happiness to the extent that they are, I think they are related, uh, really are um, inner strengths that enable a life to, to go well. But it's also something like a virtue. Uh, something that we're called upon to uh, practice in the light of uh, the relationships that we have with God and with one another. You know, joy for theologians is called a fruit of the Spirit. It's number two in the list after love. That's a hugely important thing. So there's this whole realm of joy, this complexity of, shall we say, theological joy, which then let's not dichotomize that at all from these various kinds of joy hmm. of our body, our relationships, our society, our habits, our character. And on the other hand, it's also a very strong, spontaneous emotion, like music. You know, it has to have that effect. Otherwise, it's not a real sense of joy. So I also think that joy is something that is an immediate uh, expression. And I like to see it as an expression that responds to times when we see something in creation or in redemption or in salvation that suddenly makes sense to us and we sort of, you know, excited about it and then we sort of go, wow, that's really cool. So that, that's my sense of joy, both a steady state and also a spontaneous reaction. I find joy to be a deep-seated sense of well-being with oneself and one's life and the way one is living in the world that, that comes from a wisely lived life. I mean, I feel that people tend to isolate joy uh, particularly in sort of uh, modern enlightened concepts as a goal uh, in itself. Whereas for me, joy is something that has to be rooted in love, in faith, in hope. It's a, a kind of product of that. It's not itself a primary principle. Uh, because if you make it into a primary principle, I think it will have a very deracinated and desiccated feel to it because basically it loses its uh, moral bearings. And joy in that regard is a work that can become a state that can become a way of life.